Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did become angry and there's no escaping that reality. In fact, he himself said about himself, Innama ana bashar aghdabu kama yaghdabu al-bashar. I am a human being and I become angry like human beings do. He said that. And our mother Aisha radiallahu anha, when describing the appearance of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, and she spoke about his eyebrows, she says, And between his eyebrows was a vein that would throb when he was angry. Ah, so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam did become angry. But what made his anger different to ours? I share with you two differences, and it makes all the difference. Number one, his anger was never for himself, never for himself. It was never the produce of ego. It was never a haughty anger. It was never an anger that came from personal interests. No, it was only an anger that was expressed when the limits of Allah were violated. Look at all of the incidents in his life when he became angry. It was for his Lord, Jalla Jalalu. Man taqam an Nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam li nafsihi qat Aisha said radiyallahu anha. Never did he avenge himself. Only when the limits of Allah were violated, she said, he would take revenge for the sake of Allah. Look at all of the incidents where he became angry. It was for his Lord when he saw Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu wearing a garment that was described in, uh, in Sahih al-Bukhari as siyara. Siyara, it means it's a type of clothing that has lines within it, but it's mixed with silk and silk is only permissible for women. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam became angry. Who? For the sake of Allah. He became angry with Ali. When Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu led Salatul Isha and it was so long that people were struggling. Some even left the Salah. He became very angry with Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu But for who? For the sake of Allah jalla jalalu. That's the first difference that made his anger different. It was never for himself. When his personal rights were violated, he was calm and collected, patient and gentle and merciful. But when the limits of Allah were trampled, he was a different man. That is a man. The second thing that made his anger different was that he never went on a tantrum, alayhi salam. His anger never caused him, for example, to break something, to throw something, to, to smash something, to flip over a table, to spit at someone. He never did that. Even when he became angry, it was a composed anger. And therefore it worked for him, it never worked against him. Scan his entire life, you will find rage and tantrums conspicuously absent from his life. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Subhanallah. Wa inna ala khuluqin azim. Sublime morality. Alayhi salatu wasalam.